Hey y'all, we're back and uh, we're headed back to the dark side a little bit here. Uh, a little bit of uh, rock and metal. Uh, this is going to be uh, Queensryche, The Lady Wore Black. And this is uh, live in Los Angeles, 1992. Uh, and it's MTV Unplugged. Uh, so I'm uh, I've, what I've seen from Unplugged, it's typically like uh, just like acoustic and drums. And, you know, and that's like basically it. And I'm glad because I really... I uh, want to hear Jeff Tate's voice, the singer. I want to uh, hear it the best I can. And uh, later on, I will be listening to uh, some studio tracks as well because uh, he's obviously uh, exceptional. And it really uh, separates him um, in that type of music. Like, I would definitely put this into uh, the heavy metal category, but there's it's definitely not just generic heavy metal by any means because the vocals... Um, it's not just roughness. Um, I mean, I know there's talent in that too, but this is like real classical singing, but you have like the heavy metal, uh, musicians, you know, playing in the band. So, uh, I looked up, uh, this song on the Wikipedia to try to get some history on it or something. I found some page and it says that this song, um, I guess the music, most of it had already been written. Um, and this was from a band that was a cover band and they and Jeff Tate was not actually in the band with them uh, but he did some songs with them and they were a cover band and he did songs with them sometimes and Jeff, Jeff was in his own band but anyway when they decided to record a demo tape with 24 tracks on it um, they asked Jeff to come to the studio I don't know if that was officially when he joined the band but to uh, write the lyrics for this song and uh, you know to perform it in the studio and finish the song and so um, I could not find what his inspiration for the lyrics were. Um, I'm sure one of you guys know if you can let me know. Um, and they said that he actually, uh, by candlelight, he chose to do this song by candlelight to give it a certain vibe in the studio. I absolutely love that because I, I totally get vibes too and what they can do with your mood, you know, and depending on the mood of an artist is how something is going to come out. You know, even just the smallest details matter. Uh, but I'm just, I'm pumped, man. I'm ready to see this. Let's go. Next one is uh, another real old one, not quite as old as that one, but it goes way back uh, actually to our beginnings as a band. It's actually the first song we wrote together as a band, so you might remember this one. This is so good. Uh, the lady wore black. That like that hook, I guess, if you want to call it that. The chorus, I don't know. Uh, it, it sounds so good. Like it pulled me in, and it's one of those ones where I guarantee, if I heard this on the radio, I would instantly like it for the first time because it, it gives me that feeling. You know, uh, his vocals are 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 incredible. I I love it uh, that it still has like that kind of heavy metal darkness to it, like really hard rock. Uh, but it has uh, very fine-tuned classical vocals that uh, mesh together. 
It's good, man. Let's go. Yeah, his vocal control. Y'all had told me in the comments that um, Queen Trike, uh, they went on tour with uh, uh, Dio, Ronnie James Dio. And Ronnie James Dio himself, incredible voice, obviously. Um, yeah, he's awesome. He said that uh, Jeff Tate, he was very impressed with not just his vocal talent, but his ability to put, basically perform perfectly just night after night after night. And you're really seeing that here. Um, and that's what's fun about this being in like the hard rock metal genre. It's because he's using the classical singing and because there's not um, more distortion or gutturalness in his vocals to especially live i feel that you'd be able to pick up on smaller mistakes more easily and i'm not seeing any of that at all like it just sounds perfect i've never heard this before but like you can tell like when something is off with the music or just i don't know like he'd be too close or too far from the mic like there's just like none of that none of that is happening um this guy is legit good Let's go a little bit further and let's see if uh, anything else happens related to this song.
Okay, I don't think so. Um, if it did, I apologize. Um, I just, you know, if not, I don't want to, like, extend the video and keep going, and it's like nothing's really happening. Uh, that was very impressive. Um, I, I genuinely like that song, and um, <clears throat> his voice, man. Um, the only thing that I can kind of think of that I know something about that I can compare on any level, and I'm not comparing their talent level or anything like that, is uh, the singer of that band, Man of War. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember that guy's name. I'm definitely familiar with some of their music, um, but it's like you have like that hard metal sound, and then you have, <clears throat> but you have a singer that's like almost like more opera classical in a sense, and for some reason it just really works, you know? Uh, Man of War is more like, um, I think they talk about like Vikings and medieval stuff, and you know, like that's basically like their subject matter from what I what I've seen or you know uh, or heard about them. Um, yeah, this band seems uh, it seems more a bit more serious, uh, more relatable, just as a as a whole in general to like to just people instead of like a specific subject matter. But man, yeah, what a great band, dude. <laughs> Uh, I've learned more every day. Uh, we're definitely going to check out more from Queensryche. I believe there was a couple of more uh, requests from the last video we did, uh, Take Hold of the Flame. So I need to go back and look at those. And uh, guys, please, yeah, uh, anything live, or even if it's on the studio track and you just feel like in that moment on that track, it's like it just created a certain feeling. You know what I mean? Like, I get that too. So just let me know. Um, yeah. All right, man, that was badass. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.